What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'll be taking a look at uh, Kalen Balaj. I kind of mentioned in the Patrick Laird and Miles Gaskin videos that I would end up doing this at some point. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm um, getting into his stats before we uh, start the film here. Um, like I said in the previous videos, it's kind of hard to judge their stats because of how bad our offensive line was last year. But um, he did have 135 rushing yards, three rushing touchdowns. Um, 14 catches on 24 targets, no touchdowns, 63 yards. Um, but this 58.3 catch percentage is the thing that really concerns me as far as his receiving ability goes. Um, he had a lot of dropped passes last year, and some of them in relatively big moments as well. So that's something to definitely be, con be concerned about, especially because he was supposed to be this well-rounded back coming out of college. So... Yeah, I mean, he's a decent blocker. So, I mean, in, in, like, third downs, that's where, that's what I typically like him for. But, I don't think I have to point out the running back every play. I think y'all can find him. Yeah. I mean, kind of like I was mentioning before with the other two, there's just really nowhere for him to run here, but... There is a problem here. I don't like how high he runs. Like, that really makes your balance off when you're running the ball. Uh, I, I just like to see him run with it, run behind his pads a little bit more. But, you know, that, that's why his balance can be kind of a problem sometimes. Nowhere to really go there. And the thing is, like, he's got some power. He's got some strength to him. Um, he, he's definitely got the, the size and everything. But it, with him running as high as he is, it, it, it doesn't really matter that much. Like, I kind of feel like Miles Gaskin might have picked up a couple extra yards there. Just because I, I don't feel like he would have fallen over quite as easily there. Man coverage. Can't really blame him there. Eh, just let that go. There's not really much we can do about that one. We just got batted down. If anything, that was kind of on Fitzpatrick for staring him down. Let's see it from this angle. Yeah, not really too much there. Still running a little high, but as far as like vision goes, there really wasn't anywhere to really go. Yeah. Again, I feel like uh, Miles Gaskin may have gotten a little bit further, not by a lot. Nowhere to really go. I mean, it's it's more of the same thing. I mean, none of the three running backs I'm looking at right now are really all that great, to be honest with you. Um, but the reason I'm just looking at these three, I'm not looking at Jordan Howard or uh, Matt Breida, is because I already know that they're going to be solid running backs. 
I know what they bring to the table. It's just these guys that are questions to be on this roster. So I'm more intrigued by them right now. That's one thing we didn't really try doing with Miles Gaskin too much is lining him out at receiver. Like, you see this right now with Kalen Balaj, and we did it with uh, Patrick Laird as well. But um, I kind of wish we would have done it a little bit with uh, Miles Gaskin just to see how that just see how that went. Now Matt Breda will be our receiving back for the year, but still. Yeah, right there is kind of the problem with running so high. Because if you're, if you're, if you lower your center of gravity, it makes it much easier to change direction quickly without falling. Now, I mean, he he did get kind of wrapped up there, so he probably would have fell regardless. But still, a little wildcat situation. I kind of like that we started doing that more last year as well, just trying to mix things up. I hope that continues to be a thing. I would love to see Jordan Howard and Matt Breida do this type of thing. And Albert Wilson. Keep Albert Wilson with the Wildcat, too. He's good at it. Personally, I would like I would do Jordan Howard and... Um, I would do Jordan Howard in Kalen Balaj's position there and just let Albert Wilson do it. Show a little bit of power there. I'm not going to be mad at that. And they were whooping our ass. <laughs> the wildcat. Didn't really get anywhere though. But still. I just like that we started doing things like this. I, d I definitely think we should continue it. I think it really works with Tua as well. I mean, Tua's not like super Lamar Jackson-y athletic kind of quarterback, but he can move. He can definitely move. Ugh. I, I mean, I, there's really not much you can do about that if you're Caleb Balazs. Like, that was on Julius Davenport there. Yeah, that was on Davenport. Again, not really anywhere to go there. Offensive line failed him there. I also like these looks that we started doing too, putting out an extra offensive lineman. I'd like to see some more of that as well. Line him up at a tight end. I half expected him to drop that. Not much really there. I mean, he's not like the most explosive dude in the world.
It's kind of hard to separate these guys, though, because I, I feel like skill level, they're kind of on the same bar. Him, Laird, and Gaskin. I kind of feel like Kalen Balazs might be on the low end, though. Because I think Miles, out of the three, I'd say Miles Gaskin is probably the best pure runner. But Balazs beats him in blocking, and Laird beats them both in receiving. And Laird has the advantage of doing well on special teams, too. So... I kind of, I'm starting to kind of think that it's probably just between Laird and Gaskin at this point. I mean, ultimately, it's not my decision, so who knows? Front office seems to really like Caitlin Balaj, so I don't, I, I, I don't know what will happen. But Okay. Nice little catch there. Not mad at that. Again, though, it's it's just really tough judging these guys like uh, this, like that. I mean, that that wasn't even a really bad example, but the offensive line is just so damn terrible. Like, so, some of these plays, I mean, he's getting blown up in the backfield a lot of times. And that's kind of the... Oh. Was that really all the... All 22 film? No way. No, there's no possible way that that was all the all 22 film. Well... Uh, Game Pass kind of does that sometimes, kind of glitches up, but I, I, I think we kind of got the picture. I can try to refresh it and fix it, but I'm not going to bother. Um, I think we pretty much got the picture. Um, like I said in the other videos, it really sucks that we're probably not going to have preseason this year. Just because um, it's going to be kind of hard to really separate these guys just on film. Like Numbers-wise, they're all relatively the same. Uh, Film-wise, it's kind of hard to judge them because of no offensive line, and they didn't really get the show too much. But just based on my personal eye, I'd probably give the nod to Gaskin. If it was my decision, I'd probably keep Gaskin. It would just, depends on how many running backs they want to keep, too. Um, as far as importance goes, I'd probably go Gaskin, one, layered two, then Kalen Balazs. Not counting the other three. Um, you know, Brita, Howard, and I think Malcolm Perry is probably going to stay. Just because he's a rookie this year. And I think there's a lot we can do with him. And actually, I didn't even think about him for the uh, Wildcat. That'd be really good, too. I mean, he was a quarterback. So, we can definitely get some decent looks as far as throwing the ball uh, out of the Wildcat goes. So, uh Yeah. I think that'll pretty much be it for this video, though. I don't really have anything left to really say. So, um, If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. Have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.